Or if you want it to collect poop, then you put the big turd artifact in. So if you guys have never seen a turd with glowing lights on it, well, now you have. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I am an old guy, gaming, and I got my little, uh, pick, uh, what the hell is this thing called? It's a Chibi Noglin, Chibi Noglin, yeah. Uh, one of you guys told me in the comments that if I equip this kind of scary looking little bastard, actually, <laughs> I don't want him to bite me, uh, you put it in here, and then he follows you around, and you get the, the extra XP for killing, um, alphas. Uh, so anyway, yeah, lots to get you caught up on. I've made quite a bit of progress on the base here. Uh, let's take a look at the outside first. Um, so this is what the front looks like. And I went with a kind of a, a two-tone idea where, you know, we alternate stone and wood and all the windows are wood. Uh, so I, I'm liking it. I think it's coming together pretty good. I got the, the ground floor completely finished. Um, well, when I say completely finished all of the, uh, interior walls, there's still a lot of space in here. This is actually a, a really large base, um, in these, you know, these, what you, yeah, I guess you might call the front rooms here. And I started to, uh, build a stairwell down, but that's as, as far as I can take the stairs until I have some supports down below. So, uh, I'll keep working off, uh, working on this off camera, but I think what we'll do here is we'll We'll maybe go down one more stair to a landing, and then I'll have the stairway uh, branch off to either side, to the left and the right. Uh, as you can see, I got water pipes put in down there, and I actually forgot to hide them, but at some point I'll do that. Our generator is below the stairs here, and the flooring, if you see the little green lightning bolt icon, uh, I put the S plus you know, flooring uh, wiring in the floor. Uh, to this outlet, which is powering the kitchen. Uh, so in the kitchen, we have a refrigerator and room for another one. A couple of preserving bins, all of our mortar and pestles, a case, excuse me, a storage for for basically chem, chemical types of substances is what I'm keeping in there. Uh, we got two cooking pots here, and then we have our water coming here. Same thing, too. I ran, uh, you know, the S-plus wall and foundation pipes in the the walls to bring this over here. Uh, this is going to be for cooking, cooking stuff. I made a whole bunch of crystal uh, jars for water. Um, and this is where the grill is. When we can make the industrial cooker, I'll probably remove these two pots and put the cooker there if it fits. If it doesn't, then we might move this and put the cooker here. We'll see. We'll just see, you know, what we're dealing with when, when the time comes. Uh, so yeah, we got ourselves a nice little kitchen in here. Um, in this kind of little foyer area, I've got my main smithy, and I had a, a second one, so I just put it down here in case we want to, you know, make a bunch of ammo in this one while this one's doing other things or, or double our production. Put the S-plus crafting bench there. There are a couple of things that we do need to use this for, by the way. I did discover that. I can't remember what the item was. We have our fabricator here, which is being powered by this outlet because it's an S-plus, therefore it can take uh, electricity. doesn't run just on gas like vanilla does. Uh, we got our four forges over here. The plan, uh, once I can get the big forge, is I'll probably make this into a doorway. We'll make a patio outside there. We'll put the large forge out there because it's it's very large. And then um, we got storage here. Uh, so these are raw resources. These are animal products. These are tools, weapons, and equipment. This is saddles. This is building stuff. And then if we go in this room, we have, let's see, we have blueprints in here. All of our blueprints and recipes. This is the miscellaneous bin where we're keeping, you know, like artifact types of things and whatever else. And this is armor. So this is where we have all, our, all of our armor. So we're pretty nice and organized and uh, pretty happy with the way the uh, base has come together. Um, up here, 
we have uh, this is the upstairs it's all just open right now i did put a bed down here so this is probably my bedroom um and so i still you know have lots of work to do up here and then i you know i don't know too if um uh, if i'll do a whole lot up here especially if it's just going to be me i mean this base is way way bigger than it needs to be <laughs> for just one player but you know we do have other players on the server and if somebody uh else wants to come and live in this base with me then of course we have plenty of room for them but we'll see i also thought about you know making this upper area uh like a roost you know for our flying dinos but um i, I don't know if i'm going to do that because you know that the dinos are really going to kind of stay on that end and i'm going to expand that uh which is now a barn uh, to accommodate that anyway uh i have built a a patio over here over this big rock and put in as you can see a greenhouse and in the greenhouse here we have um three or no we have two crop plots of rock carrots two of citronelle two of um sapper root or potatoes two of long grass and then four of narco berries on the end here and uh <laughs> look at that little guy he's buried in the thing and let's see so over here i i put a couple of of traditional compost bins but i found out uh in the discord one of the guys that plays on the server was saying that if you take the egg and poop collector mod that we have on the server and you put thatch inside of it it will make fertilizer in addition to collecting eggs and poop uh, it doesn't collect eggs and poop at the same time though you have to i'll show you you have to put it comes when you build it it comes with these these little things here so if you want it to collect uh, just, you know, normal eggs, in other words, unfertilized eggs, uh, you put that in. If you want it to collect fertilized eggs, you put that one in. If you want it to collect uh, gotcha crystals, yeah, gotcha crystals, uh, you put that one in. Or if you want it to collect poop, then you put the big turd artifact in. So if you guys have never seen a turd with glowing lights on it, well, now you have. And so... <laughs> So what this does, of course, is it, it it picks up the the poop, but it also, if you put thatch in, it'll also make fertilizer for you too, based upon the size of the turd. So most of these are medium. Well, no, actually, I guess we have a combination of small, medium, and small animal feces. Small animal. I don't know why there's two for small animal feces, but apparently there is. So, <clears throat> and then yeah, this thing's just been cranking out the fertilizer for me. Uh, I did tame a couple of pheomians right here for the sole purpose of generating poop these guys poop quite a bit uh, even on their own but of course if you didn't know this you can also feed them uh, stem berries and then they'll just start pooping like crazy um, but that does take their food down too but I mean I, I have almost all of those crop plots I just showed you are chocked full of fertilizer uh, so you know we're we have plenty we are doing fine on the poop front for short um don't think i have anything to update you on as far as the dinos go we still have all the same dinos we had in the last the last time i recorded except for these two of course and uh, yeah so that's pretty much where we are with all of that stuff what i want to do um next in this episode and i'm semi expecting um maybe joe and or a couple other possibly mythical or some other folks to get on tonight to maybe do a little bit of multiplayer uh, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen, so we're just going to kind of proceed for now uh, on our own. What um, what I want to do next is I want to make some mind wipe because I kind of wasn't paying attention and I spent a bunch more Ingram points, particularly on a bunch of greenhouse pieces that I didn't need to spend points on. Um, and I want to, you know, there's some important things that we still need, uh, such as the chemistry bench. Uh, we, we are high enough in level for the chemistry bench, but I don't have any, have any points for it. Um, so I want to, uh, I want to make that. And of course I, I want to also make the, uh, the cooker once we get high enough in level for that too. But that, you know, we can't even mind wipes not going to help us with that. We have to just continue leveling. So, um, and then what I'll do, you know, after I take the mind wipe is I'll just, I'll just get whatever Ingrams I need as I need them kind of thing. Um, all right. So let's see in order to make mind wipe tonic, which is this stuff here. Yeah. Mind wipe. Uh, we need all of those things. So we need cooked meat, but actually if I just click on this, 
It says some resources were not pulled. Yeah, what? No, they're all pulled. Everything's there. Okay, we just need to put a little bit of wood in here. Um, let's pull... We'll pull 93 wood out of there. And then we'll start this thing up. And we'll make ourselves some Mind Wipe Tonic. And then we'll reset our points, make ourselves a Kim Bench. And then <clears throat> I think what I'll do... I mean, I guess I could put the Kimbench there, but we don't really need the Mortar and Pestles out once we have the Kimbench. I don't think there's anything that these do that the Kimbench does not do and not do better. So I think what we'll do is we'll just pick all this stuff up and and replace it with the Chemistry Bench, and we'll put that Chemistry Bench right here. Um, but let's wait and make sure, you know, that we're going to actually be able to get it first before I commit to that, because um, this actually has a bunch of crap in it, like a bunch of stone and... Uh, flint. This has a bunch of charcoal making gunpowder and this has a bunch of narco berries and spoiled meat and is currently making narcotic for us. And we're sitting at over 3,000 narcotic um, as it is. I also went out and raided a whole bunch of beaver dams yesterday. Um, so we got a bunch of cementing paste too, which is great. So yeah, we are doing, doing really well. Uh, wood. No, we're not doing really wood. We're doing really good. I was kind of thinking well and good at the same time. Okay, so here's our mine wipe tonic. Here we go. That's it. No um, gagging or weird animations like in Seven Days to Die when you take the the elixir stuff or whatever it is. Oh, uh, shit, we got to redo our points too. Dang it. I forgot about that. Actually, that's not a bad thing, though, because, you know, maybe you might have put points into something you don't want. Okay, yeah, so we got to do this first. Um, my health was at 300, so let's just get that back up to where it was. 309. Uh, I think the stamina was right around 200, if I recall. I forgot about this, or I would have kind of written this stuff down first, but it's all right. Um, I had oxygen to 200 because it doesn't just give you oxygen. It helps you move more quickly in the water. Um, we had, uh, I think I'm going to actually, well, I, I think I had like 150 points in melee damage. So let's get that up. I did put a couple of points into movement speed. Which is certainly helpful, but it's not super critical, you know, when you have dinos to move, take you all over the place. Uh, well, actually, it's going to be helpful in caves, though. Uh, speaking of which, I want to tame one of those um, vampire bat thingies. Can't remember off top what they're called. It starts with a D, uh, because you can actually take those into the caves. You can you can take those guys in the caves, and they're very fast too. So we we might even go after one of those later on in this episode, depending on how our time goes. We'll see. Because uh, I want to go get Artifact of the Hunter and start, you know, doing some caves and things like that. Anyway, we have 41 points left to spend here. Uh, obviously, we want to put quite a few points into weight. Um, but if we did... Crafting skill is nice, too, but it, I, I've never... Oh, Fortitude. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, we have this up to 30. We definitely want 30. 30 is reasonable. Anything less than that. And you can really struggle, you know, when you go into the snow biome or wherever. So we'll keep that at 30. And I think, you know, um, how many points? We get 1.7 point for those. It's just such a pain in the butt, you know, when you're moving stuff around, not to have a lot of weight capacity. But let's take this up to... 110% or, you know, wherever. That's pretty close to where I had it. Then we're going to put everything else into weight. And that gets us very, very close to back to where we were. Okay, now uh, we want to go all the way to the chem bench, uh, the S plus chemistry bench, and that'll take 137 of our points right there just to get all of that stuff learned. Now, um, there's obviously going to be a ton of other things we're going to need to learn. But like I said, I think we'll just do that as we go. So to make the Kim bench, I'm sure we have to probably do that here in the fabricator. Uh, or we might actually be able to make it in here because, of course, we're going to make the S plus version. 
Uh, yeah, we can make that in here. Okay, so we should have everything. Not wait, what? How can we? Why isn't it pulling that stuff? I have all of that stuff. Am I out of range or something? Hmm. That's very odd. It should pull everything I need for one chem bench, but it's not doing it. All right. What if we do it over here? Let's turn this on first. Okay. And then... Not enough resources for pull. Oh, is it saying that... I don't have enough electronics, so it's kind of canceling everything else out. Because I have all of the rest of that stuff in massive quantities. <clears throat> I think that's what it's saying, because it's saying something about electronics. Yeah, okay. So we need to make some more electronics. Uh, we Yeah, we definitely need to make some more electronics. My goodness. Okay. <clears throat> well, here, let's just move this stuff over to here then, too. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to pump out a, bu a bunch of electronics here. Um, I guess we could we could go out and um, just harvest a bunch of, of, of the, uh, you know, robotic critters because we get electronics for that. But with that many, it might take a while. We're going to need to learn that Ingram as well. So let's uh, once again go here. And we will learn that. And I guess it, it must have learned all the other stuff we needed for it as well. Okay. So we're going to need three silica pearls per electronic and one ingot. So if we... And it said we needed 250... Damn, that thing's expensive, but I, re I remember it being expensive. Yeah, uh, yeah, we need 250. Okay, we have we have 26. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go... Well, do we have everything we need for, let's say, 225? No, I don't... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it looks like it pulled everything we need for that many... So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started with this. I mean, we're going to need electronics for other things, too. And we'll let that do its thing. Um, I, oh, yeah, I still have a shit ton of pearls. I, I, I found a couple of different places on the map where you can go pick the pearls uh, pretty easily in some lakes. Uh, plus, you get them from Beaver Dam. So, we actually still have lots of pearls left. Okay, good. Um, well, let's see. While we're waiting for that... What should we do? That shouldn't take too terribly long. I think I'm just going to kind of futz around the, the base here until that's done, and then I'll bring you guys back when uh, when we have the actual Kim bench and we'll get it set up and start to make stuff for us. In fact, I, I think I will go ahead, excuse me, and tear this stuff down. Um, You know, I, I can just move all of this into here for the time being. So, anyways, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to make the Kim bench. I'm just out uh, flying around waiting for the electronics to finish looking for some of the tech dinos. And we got a level 15 uh, alpha here. Let's kill it. Let's see what we get. Okay, so he dropped... Uh, eh. It's not terrible stuff, but I've got much better. Uh, we do, we got some points for them, though. That's good. <clears throat> um, what the Griffins probably the best for is just traveling. You can move across the map so quickly with this creature. You know, if you get up high and then do a dive bomb and then glide. Um, so I think with that in mind, his stamina is not too bad. I think I'm just going to start... I'm not, I don't use them really for hauling things, so I think we're just going to... And I don't use them a lot for killing stuff either. Um, so I think I'm just going to... 
for the rest of his points, I'm going to pump speed on him. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a nice little collection of loot overall, because there wasn't anything in the Griffin's inventory. Um, none of the those items are particularly spectacular, but the fact that we got that many of them is, is, is not bad. It doesn't suck. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I like it. I like it. What is that? Uh, Dunkley, Dunkleyostis saddle, okay. And halfway decent simple pistol. And looks like we have all of our electronics. So now if we go here, uh, well here, Kim Bench, and click this, boom, we have everything we need. Let's make it. That is one expensive piece of equipment, man, but it is so worth having. And that's looking pretty good right there. And it's powered. Beautiful. Marvelous, darling. You look marvelous. Let's do this. Let's go consumables, drugs. Grab this guy. What is that? Oh, that's antidote. Okay. And... Uh, let's see if we have enough stuff to make a thousand. Oh, I didn't know you could make these for, to make narcotic. That's good to know. Narcotic. We'll learn that. And obviously we're going to need to learn gunpowder and all that stuff again, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, we got to level up too. Cool. So, um, uh, let's get, I mean, I, I almost certainly we're going to do more mind wipes before this is all said and done, but I think what's most important really is probably weight. So let's just, I'll probably get weight up to maybe at least 350 or possibly even 400 before, um, before I start putting points back into speed again. Who's making all the racket out here? Oh, it's you. And by the way, yes, I do know that there are runes around the place that I haven't gotten yet. And the reason for that is because I'm, I want to wait until <clears throat> I'm on like a really important dino. Uh, you know, like a, 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 a boss Rex or something before I continue doing those. So that's why I haven't grabbed everyone I've come across so far. Okay, so... The Desmodius, that's the vampire bat guy. My understanding about him is that we need... Actually, I'm not even going to guess. Let's just look on Dota decks here. Uh, we need to make blood bags. Desmodus. Okay, so if we came across a max level Desmodus at four times taming at 100, level 150, we would need 20, uh, three blood packs to tame that sucker. We have to put the blood packs on your hot bar and let it grab you. It will consume 10 blood packs over a short period of time, then drop you and then repeat it until tamed. All right. So to make a blood pack, I need the blood draw kit. Let's learn this one. Since they, we, we have to pay for both of them. So let's grab some hide and some keratin. That is one of the things that you that keratin is exclusive for, because you can't use chitin on that. I knew there was a couple, you know, at least one or two things, but I couldn't remember what they were. Let's make one of these. Okay, and then to use it, I guess we put it here and we do that. We can't just use these... Indefinitely, because it takes our health away. So what I'm going to do is... And these have... Does these have a, a spoil timer? They do. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the camera. And I'm going to make enough blood packs 
to how many did it say we needed? We needed 23. Okay, I'm gonna make I'll probably make a few more than that, just you know, just in case. Um, and then we will I'll probably wait till morning too, because it looks like it's maybe getting on in the day, and then I'll meet you guys over at the cave where we can tame these. Um, which I believe is I think it's around 5525-ish. Or maybe 5535. Somewhere in that area. All right, so I believe this is the place we need to go. There's a cave over to our right with the Desmodus in it. And uh, they might, uh, they probably are in other caves too, but this is the cave that I know that they're in. Um, I actually watched Block 9 uh, do this, and so that's where I got the idea from. And I think we'll park the RG up here. It won't be safe from flying creatures, but it should be safe from uh, any ground creatures. And we want to make sure that it's on passive, which it is. Okay. I just pulled that this crap out of a, a green drop. Um, all right, so let's hop down from here. That's kind of a long ways down, isn't it? Can we... Get in the water from here, or at least jump down. Oh, eh, that wasn't too bad. We could have maybe jumped on that crystal. Um, so, yeah, since we're on foot here, we're going to have to do our own fighting. Oh, damn it. You know what I should have done? I should have... Uh, I should have brought a grappling hook, but hopefully we can get around in here okay without it. So we've got our really good crossbow with 200 arrows. Uh, we got our rifle for long range, and we also have our shotgun for real close range uh, work. Is that... There's two kinds of bats in this game. There's the onyx, or onk, which is that thing. And I don't think we can tame those guys. Uh, but we're looking for the big vampire bat guys. And uh, you can see them, like, hanging upside down on the ceiling. Uh, you know what else I should have brought? Is I should have brought more of this because we're going to be messing with scorpions and spiders. Yeah, that that's what I should have done. Well, it is what it is. Okay, let's take um, one of these now. One of these and one of these. So now we can move fast. And I'm going to try and long range uh, some of these enemies. We could try and go up this way, I guess. Let's just kind of take a look-see around and see what happens here. Don't know what the aggro range is on the Onyx guys. Yeah, um, I definitely should have brought more stimulant and grappling hook. Oh shit. But we're here now, so let's just see how we can do here. Oops. Probably should have loaded my... He gave me a freaking disease thing, but that's that's a that's just a temporary disease. That's not like the permanent one that you have to make the antidote for. Um, all right. What do these guys have? Just regular meat and arrows. Okay. Come back around this way again. I think that uh, cough that I have. If you're around other players, then you can infect them with it. If if it doesn't wear off first. It's like a temporary rabies, I believe, if I recall. Okay. 
So it appears to be reasonably clear as far as I can see here. <coughs> All right, there's a Desmodus up there. There's two of them. But they're, there's a 90 and a 20. All right, I definitely don't want a 20. I'd prefer something higher than a 90. Get rid of that guy. Okay, let's deal with this bat here. Hold still. Alright, he did. And he de didn't reinfect us, so that's good. Always a good thing. Um, so I guess... I don't think I can snipe the 20 without also getting the 90s attention. I'd kind of like to find something that it is at least level 100. So, yeah, let's just see what happens here. Wait a minute, okay, who's who in the zoo again? The further one's the level 20. And we want to go prone because our shot's a lot steadier. Yeah, we got both of their attentions. I don't remember who's who. Okay, good. We got the 20. Um, I mean, yeah, you know what? I don't want a 90. I want something bigger. So we're going to kill him, too. I like that focal chill chili, man. Look how fast we're running. It's awesome. Okay, there's some. Wait. Right there. A 95 and a 20. Well, there's a 95. We know we can't shoot the 20 without getting both of them so let's leave those that pair alone for the moment and uh deal with this asshole yeah man I wish I would have brought a freaking grappling hook can I get up this way oh yeah Again. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I don't even think I hit him. Yeah, he did. Dead. That was a level 140 spider. Areno. I think you can tame these guys, can't you? I don't remember what you have to do to tame them. Nice little bunch of kite. Ooh, there's four bats up there. Damn. That could be a little, little tricky. Here we got a 95. A 45, a 55, 95, 20, 45, and 55. Okay. Yeah, having four of those guys together, I'm not too terribly worried about being able to kill them all. It's more like not killing the wrong one, you know? Well, let's keep looking. We'll come back here. 
If the 95 is the highest we can find, then it's the highest we can find. There's more over there. A 20 and a 50. Okay. I don't care about those guys. Let's kill these guys now, because we know we don't want either one of them. Oh, we didn't pull them both. Yeah, we did. Okay. A lot of bad guys over there. That's a centipede guy. We don't want... Hmm. They are seriously dangerous because if they spit on you, they dissolve your armor. Shit. Okay, good. We got them both. I'd really like to find a blueprint for a higher level long neck. This is just the basic. Get that scorpion. Don't have anything above us, do we? Okay, there's some more... Up there, we'll have to get a glass on them and see what they are. I don't think that dung beetle's hostile, is he? We'll take those. Don't care about the rest of that stuff. He's hostile if we attack him, but I think he's neutral otherwise. Okay, let's get a glass on these bats. Actually, you know what? We better deal with these... Onks first. Missed. There we go. A 90 and a 135. That's the one we want. Okay. That's a really good one. So before we aggro them, um, What's going to happen is it's going to grab us and carry us around for a little bit and then drop us. And we don't want to, we want to make sure there's no other nasties in the immediate vicinity. That's the cave entrance that we came in. So yeah, we've, we've gone full circle just about. Okay, I think we're pretty clear. Let's get rid of you. Okay, um, that other, these other onks could become a problem, but I think they're probably far enough away to where we don't need to worry about them. So the name of the game here is we want to get, we want to kill the one on the, I got to make sure I get this right here. Yeah, we want to kill the 90, the one on the right. And let the one on the left get us. They both look very similar to each other, so... Okay, yeah, this will make it easy. And these guys are fast. There we go. Okay, we're just going to let this one come after us. I think... Isn't she supposed to, like, pick us up? There we go. Okay, and then they start eating the blood packs. Yeah, see, it's consuming the blood packs. Oh, don't drop me in the water. That would not be good. Okay. Um, let's take those again. Okay, I guess we just wait for her to pick us up. There we go. Oh man, don't stay away from the water. <laughs> Shit. No. Alright. Oh my god. That was fall damage that we took. Okay, take a bunch of medical brews. Okay. Hey, we got her. Alright. Very good. Even with all the other monsters.
monstrosities around here. This fugitive from a creature double feature deserves top billing. I mean, Dracula's right there in its species name. And Desmodus has a shriek that'll scare just about anything out of its way. It's also shrewd enough to limit itself to victims that it can carry off into the night. Although I'm not superstitious enough to advise stocking up on garlic and steaks before you decide to track down Desmodus for yourself, I'd still advise you to hunt these horrors out in the light and away from their caves. They seem uniquely adept at flying and hiding in those dark, narrow spaces. Taming one of these beasties lets you add its eerie abilities to your arsenal. Use their unsettling scream to scatter your enemies. Command Desmodus to snatch up small prey for you. Let its uncanny power to vanish into darkness become your personal stealth mode. Desmodus has blood thinner in its saliva, which drains prey of more blood than this vampire could ever digest. If you can stomach the excess blood and drained meat your vampire pet leaves behind, you might be open-minded enough to appreciate another of its unholy gifts, a sanguine elixir that helps enthrall the most stubborn beasts. Cool. Okay, so this sanguine elixir business, it will, um, you can use it to increase taming uh, by rate by 30% or something like that. Um, and the other thing that's really cool about them is that they will automatically make, um, oh, look at that guy. He's cool looking, man. Or gal, sorry. Um, automatically make, spoiled meat for you too like quite a bit of it too from what i understand all right we're gonna have to name you so your name is gonna be vampire because why not right why else what else would we name her cool so okay what is that invisibility only works at night or what or latching Huh. So if I press and hold the right mouse button, see the red numbers? I guess it's got a a charge up period. And the other thing about these things is they're really fast too. And they can go backwards. Super useful. Alright, so how do I do the scream? X and C are just like vertical up and down. Right does the invisibility thing. All right. I don't know what uh, what we do use to take or you know what it's going to need in terms of stats. Doesn't seem like it's got very high health. The other thing I noticed too when we tamed it was that we only got um, does it eat blood? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, we only got um, like 50% taming effectiveness, so I don't know what I did wrong to lose extra levels, but it is what it is, I guess. If we go all the way up here, can we latch onto the roof? Latching available. How do I latch? Is it... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, that was the space bar. Is that like some kind of bat sonar thing that it's going on there? Okay, now if I right click, we're latched, but it's not going invisible. Hmm. Not sure how that works. But this is cool then, because I can shoot from here. Very cool. Wonder what's down in that water. Gonna have to explore that at some point. Alright, well, let's see. The level on this um, is really seems very low, so let's give it some health. And I think as it kills animals, it gets its own blood and it starts making, like I said, spoiled meat for us. So um, if I put normal meat in there, does it turn that into stuff? I don't know.
Very cool. Okay, let's press the space bar to unlatch. Okay, what I don't quite get is if I do this, it says only works at night or latching. But we were latched, so... And then when I right click, it doesn't do anything. So I don't know what, what the deal is. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're invisible. You know why? Because I had something in my hand, I think. That's what it was. Oh, that is so cool, man. I bet these are useful for PvP. Unless there's some way that you can uh, detect them. There probably is. There, there should always be a counter to something like that. But still, very cool. And sideways... That's um, like the Tapahara, and backwards, super useful. Can I shoot while it's flying? Whoa, dudes. This is Quetz taming. This is Quetz taming. In fact, I haven't even seen a Quetzal on this map yet. All right, well, we have accomplished our goal, ladies and gentlemen, of getting ourselves our first Desmodus. Um, it seems a little... A little glitchy when it flies forward. I don't know why. Let's kill this snake. Wow. Oh my goodness. We got 125 spoiled meat from that. Dang, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, I want to keep pumping health for a little bit. Uh, the blood spray thing that it does is kind of cool, too. We got 113 spoiled meat and 17 blood packs. Well, we won't have to use the blood draw kit anymore. <laughs> this is awesome. I like this creature. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, we are out of time uh, in this episode, so I'm probably going to level up the Desmodus. And then I think our plan for... doesn't look like my my buds are going to get on tonight. So um, I think my plan for the next episode is that we'll go uh, try the artifact to the hunter. And why is Grayla... Oh, she not got knocked off the, the thingy there. Um, and we'll take, you know, we'll take the bat in there and do that cave after I get it leveled up. Screech available. Oh, you have to, okay. You have to hold down the left mouse button and then when you release it, it does the screech. I wonder if that's similar to the Yudi scream. Let's see if we can scare this pig. Is it scared? It's got some kind of red aura around it, but I don't know what that's doing to it. It's definitely not running away. Okay, we better have some help here from Grayla. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And yeah, we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.